Hello traders and welcome back to the Forex Bowl Trading Academy this Friday last trading day of the week and today we have a very very interesting price action on the pound against the Australian dollar. And before we get started with the analysis I would like to remind you that information in this video is for educational purpose only should not be considered as the financial advice. And finally, don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to follow the videos that we do in weekly. Right, time to get started with analysis of the pound Australian dollar on the four hour time frame. Pretty interesting what is going on. First off, what we can see is the descending channel that have been applied through the last two lows and the high in between. We see that there was this breakout above the channel. We can also see that the price broke above the downtrend trend line. Clearly, there was the breakout and this breakout zone has been acting as the support. Now, at the same time, we have higher highs and higher lows pattern is in place, which means that there is another wave at least to come because we had wave one, two, three, four and five potentially. So right now, what we had is the rejection of the 50 exponential moving average. There was a clean bounce two times in a row one and two and then price spiked yet again but and failed to close below the moving average and at the same time we have the simple uptrend trend line which got rejected so if i go to the one hour time frame now we see our uptrend trend line and there was this clean rejection after which price started to produce yet again higher highs and higher lows now this level is extremely important because this was attempt to break the moving average and it failed so this is the key support now and in order for the price to continue moving higher pound Australian dollar definitely must stay above this support now another point we have applied fibs to the breakout point of the channel you can see the 50 percent is there and we have the final upside target based on this breakout at 0% FIBS, which is 1.7922. Going back to the weekly chart, there is a FIBS applied to the last wave up where we have 88.6% retracement level. And if we look at this level, this is the 1.7934. And another point is the point of rejection of the moving average. So if I go to the forward time frame, zoom it in, we can see there was a clean bounce of the moving average. There was this rejection, there was attempt to break on this spike, then we had this clean bounce of the support. So I, I have used FIBS to apply to this correction where the price rejected the moving average as well as the channel after the breakout. And now we have 427.2 retracement level exactly at the 88.6. So this area between 79.20 and 79.40 could be an extremely strong supply area. And besides, we see it corresponds to the previous level of support, area of support and the resistance as well. And this is where the price is likely to be heading as long as we hold above this low at 175.82. So this could be a very, very strong uptrend, very fast uptrend. And overall, it, it might result in over 200 pips from the current price. So it could be either 223 or 240 pips. So this is quite a massive move that can be expected from the pound versus the Australian dollar during the next week. Maybe the trend will start even from today, but make sure to watch the support level because if there will be a breakout, price is likely to go down. So that's it guys on the pound Australian dollar. Now let's go back to previously made analysis, especially the pound New Zealand dollar, which is highly correlated to the pound Australian dollar. So here what we have is our previous analysis. We published analysis once the price was at this point. Right now, there was this correction, although we haven't tested the resistance and the potential for this upside move is 210 pips. Basically, it's the same as the pound Australian dollar, nearly 200 pips. So they both are in line and this could be quite a massive move to the upside occurring during the next week as well. Now, moving on to the Australian Swiss franc. So based on the potential pound strength and or Australian dollar weakness, we can suggest that there will be a downside correction, downside move. 
so maybe the price will not go up immediately and now we can see that the it's attempting to break below trend line. So I will invalidate this analysis for now. We published them once the price was at this stage at 67.20 area. So no harm there. Closing the chart, we will get back to it once there is some interesting price action. The next is Swiss franc Japanese yen. Still a consolidation, nothing major happening. Expecting the pullback or the corrective move to the downside but as long as this resistance holds still waiting the euro against the swiss franc same picture where the swiss franc could be weak although we need to hold this support which has been rejected if there will be break below this low at 1.0735 it will get invalidated the dollar swiss franc we failed to break above the resistance which means that the downtrend is likely to continue at least it seems at this stage that there is a selling pressure because this resistance area is holding unless it gets broken it will be the continuation of this downtrend as we expected originally the euro japanese yen looks pretty bullish we can see that the support has been rejected cleanly previous area of resistance rejected and now we might be finally seeing the upside move towards 128.55 resistance or even higher towards 130.40 the pound swiss franc we tested the resistance area as can be seen but all in all pound seems to be very strong and it possible that we will move towards the second resistance but this is a 400 pip and if we consider that we had already 200 pip move for the pound australia and pound new zealand we can imagine that this could be the similar move 200 pip move potentially break above this spike and then we will need to see so definitely this resistance still valid and very important to see what will be happening there so we will continue on following there the euro new zealand dollar also seems bullish nonetheless we had this break below this support so it's already a tricky market because if price breaks below this low at 168 then it will be a downtrend continuation up until this point it should remain bullish we should be testing the resistance having said that we expected that the price will go down in our previous video especially on the break below this support but as this low is holding we should be expecting move to the upside along with the pound new zealand dollar where new zealand dollar could be weak and pushing the price up for the euro nsd canadian japanese yen we have reached clearly the one of the resistance which is was the second resistance and price went down so this is done very good very fast move to the upside as expected and we will be closing the chart i don't think there will be a um, one more wave to the upside towards this resistance because this was a double top which was expected to be tested closing the chart and that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed it and if you did as usually please put the like subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell we will be coming with a more analysis very interesting analysis on monday so stay tuned have a great weekend and we wish you lots of profit and a good trading strategy so that you can enjoy the trading. Take care guys, see you soon.